the only way we can do this is if we have r cosine of theta or r sine of theta. Right, Grace? It's the only thing we can do anything. So what I could do is multiply by an r on both sides. In that case, I get r squared equals r cosine of theta. Jay, do you agree on that? No. No? Well, again, is there any way right now that you know that you can get the r cosine of theta goes to x and y's? No. The only thing you know is if you have r cosine of theta, what is that equal to? x, right? So I'm thinking, I need to have an r multiplied by this cosine. Well, if I'm going to multiply an r by the cosine, whatever I do on the right side, I have to do on the left side, correct? OK, so I multiply an r on both sides. I get this. Now, what is r cosine of theta equal to? x. What is r squared equal to? Now, for right now, we'll learn next chapter how to simplify this further. But for right now, we're just going to leave it just like that. Okay?